All right, guys. So the other day we tried maxing out RAM in a virtual box virtual machine. Today, though, we're going to try maxing the CPU. So this is going to be kind of interesting to see what happens with this. I'm having a feeling that it's probably going to be the same result that it was with the RAM, but I'm not really sure because, you know, if the CPU, it doesn't have to be used all the time, unlike, you know, the RAM does. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see it, but this is a Windows 10 virtual machine. I only have two gigs of RAM allocated to it. If we go to our processors though, this might look a little different for you. Uh, this is a four core CPU on this MacBook Pro. So that's why we have four CPUs right there. Now you notice that one CPU and two CPU are in the green, but as soon as you go over that, you are in the red, which is usually not good. Now it does let you max it all the way out. Now that's different with the RAM. If we go back to RAM, you cannot max the RAM all the way out. It literally won't let you click OK. You have to go to a certain point uh, in here that it'll let you uh, do it. So I think that's kind of interesting, which makes me think that this result might be a little bit different because it does let you max the CPU all the way and then hit OK. So we're going to see uh, what happens here when we max the CPU out. So let's go ahead and click on Start. Now, you notice that there's no other Mac applications running right now. And, okay, well that's interesting. We're in automatic repair. <laughs> that's kind of weird. I don't know why we would be in that. But it is loading still. So that's good. I don't know why automatic repair would be coming up. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. We'll see what it does though. It's not lagging or anything, so that's good to see at least. But we'll let this load and uh, see what happens in a second. Okay, so it didn't find any issues. I don't know again why it was even talking about the automatic repair. That's very interesting. After we changed the CPU, that showed up. But anyways, it's loading. And right away I noticed that it is a lot smoother than just on one CPU, which is to be expected, of course. And apparently what it's doing, unlike the RAM, is, you know, you don't need your CPU all the time, unless you're doing some kind of intensive thing, like graphic intensive stuff, or, you know, anything CPU intensive. Uh, so this might work a lot better than you would expect it to. All right, we're here on the desktop. A little slow to load. Um, isn't loading the taskbar completely yet. All right, here we are. So let's see what the task manager has to say. Uh, you can hear the fans on the MacBook Pro, but that's, that's basically normal. I mean, this thing heats up for no reason. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we're running about, ooh, we're running a lot more CPU than I thought we would be right now. Uh, this is also because we just started up, but we are, we're pegging it. Almost. Yeah, a lot of background stuff going on and everything like that, which this is kind of interesting to see it that much. That should, you know, calm down. I would hope. Let's see, uh, you know, our CPU, you can see four virtual processors right there. Uh, but now it looks like maybe it's calming down, but not really. Uh, but let's see, we just opened something like Microsoft Edge. I don't have anything to like really push the limits of the CPU on here, but I don't know. What I'm interested to see though is what happens if we start opening stuff on the Mac. Okay, so it looks like maybe no issues uh, there. Yeah, we're really smooth on the Mac right now. Uh, let's go back in here. Yeah, so we're smooth on the Mac, like no issues whatsoever. But on the virtual machine, we're struggling. So maybe that means that the Mac's process 
you know, processors. Oh wow, 173% CPU virtual box, look at that. 181, that's a little wild, ain't it? Yeah, so, okay, it's going back to Earth a little bit. Interesting stuff here. Definitely interesting to see. Um, now the CPU is calmed way down on the virtual machine. But on the Mac, it's still showing VirtualBox using, you know, 143% CPU. But the interesting thing is it's not necessarily affecting, you know, the Mac's performance. Like, we can still go to different things pretty smoothly here, uh, you know, to see, like, stuff on Apple's website. Uh, we can go into system preferences. So, really... You know, it's not too bad. There's a little bit of a slowdown right there. Uh, we could possibly create a new file here in Photoshop Elements. You know, let's just do like a 1280-720 file. Yeah, so that's very interesting. Um, okay, we're now pegging CPU again in VirtualBox. And the Mac is still showing, oh wow, 298% CPU <laughs> for VirtualBox. Okay, so yeah, maybe pegging your CPU is not the best idea in VirtualBox. Um, but it's really not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Like, yeah, it's slow. But I was expecting it to be more like a RAM situation where nothing would work at all. But it looks like the virtual machine is the one that struggles, but your host operating system is still, you know, handling things pretty uh, well here. So let's open some more apps on the Mac. Just see like what happens with that. Just open everything, right? See what it does. But yeah, so basically I guess don't peg your CPU all the way in VirtualBox. Don't max it out. But, you know, you one or two CPUs is really all you need to make VirtualBox run properly. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the host machine still has priority over the CPU. Even if you max it out, you can see we're pretty much frozen right now. Um, and all these other apps have opened on the Mac. So yeah. Uh, VirtualBox, this is what happens when you peg uh, your CPU, um, put it all the way to 100%, even though, and this is the interesting part, you can see 21% CPU is what Task Manager says on Windows, but when you look at it on the Mac, okay, so it's come back down a little bit, it's still, it's very high. So, interesting results, like I said. Um, but yeah guys, that's all I got for you today. Just kind of want to show you what happened there. Uh, you can see we're kind of frozen again and Edge never opened. So yeah, one CPU, that's why it's set to that and that's basically all you need to make your virtual machine run properly. But anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.